everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy that you wanted to join me today because today we are going to take the ecological footstep test. I got this idea from Kristen Leo. She made a video about it and I thought it was really cool and it's a nice way to sort of be real with you guys and also to get some real numbers on the zero waste lifestyle and just transparency yo i would love to see you guys do this as well and tag me on instagram and on facebook and on here if you're doing this as well i would love to see but for now i'm going to do the test i have my laptop here and we are going to take the test together so i will be bringing you guys through everything and of course explaining my choices so yeah but we have a little oh, oh. so the dog is crazy that's that's fun I got this new shirt with these crazy sleeves and <laughs> if it's possible, if it's okay with you, moles, moles. Okay, so the first question, is... so the first question says, uh, how often do you eat animal based products? I'm a vegan. Hello. Uh, so I'm going to put it to never and I see you can add details to improve accuracy. So I'll just put all of these to never as well because we don't want any of that, oh, very often. Uh, yeah, saving them for never. And moving on, how much of the food that you eat is unprocessed, unpackaged and locally grown? And there's a percent scale as well. So I think this is, this is always super difficult to, to to sort of pinpoint, I guess, but I do eat a lot of unprocessed foods and I do eat a lot of unpackaged food, but some of it is, of course, imported because in Denmark you can't grow that many different things. But I try to eat as seasonal as possible, so I would say it's at 80%, I reckon. Uh, how much of the food in your diet is fresh, unpackaged fruit? That is... that is 80%, most definitely. I mean, how much of it is locally grown? I think that's a little bit less. So I would say it's around 60% maybe. I think that's a good... Yeah. Let's do that. Okay. Let's... Okay, so which housing type best describes your home? We have freestanding, no running water, freestanding running water, multi-story apartment, duplex, luxury, condominium. Um, so... I think this is a multi-story apartment actually. I think this is a multi-story apartment. There are three floors in my building. Um, because they're not like duplexes. So yeah, okay, apartment. Yeah. Cool, 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 cool. I don't know why I needed like a lot of time to say that. Alright, well, okay. Well. okay. Uh, what material is your, hide, is your house constructed with? This is brick and concrete, I'm very certain. How many people live in your household? That's just me and the square feet of my house is, or like the, it's, where is it? I think it's there. It's around 70, I think, 70 square meters. So do you have electricity in your home? I do indeed have electricity. How energy efficient is your home? It's a really hard question to answer because I don't really know how energy efficient my like largest appliance are because they were here in my apartment. But I don't have an AC and I think that counters in quite a lot. And the bulbs I use are like energy saving bulbs. So let's see what it says here. Well insulated, efficient lighting and appliances, careful use. Yeah, and I have nothing on standby ever. I always turn everything completely off. So I guess we can move up. Passive, heating, cooling. Again, I don't have that. And low energy use. I always get money returned from my energy because I yeah I get I rarely use anything. Um, so I think we can put it up to vary because minimal consumption of goods and minimal use of stuff and resources in general will automatically make you more sustainable. So let's do a that. What percentage of your household electricity comes from renewable sources? I actually recently changed my energy plan because I figured that was something that you could actually do, or recent, recent. It was a few months ago, I think, um, because I suddenly realized that I didn't know where my energy and where my heating and stuff came from. Um, so I contacted a, a local renewable energy supplier and got everything changed. So now it's 100%, y'all. 
That was a really easy switch. I think it's something that I had been not thinking about because I thought it was difficult or then it was just sort of sorted away. Oh, Molly saw the hand. Um, but it was really, really easy to do. So yeah, definitely recommend looking into that if you have any power over what kind of power that you have. Is that a sentence that makes any sense? Oh my God, I don't know. Okay, let's go on. Compared to your neighbors, how much trash do you generate? I generate much, much less. I have this pet peeve, you guys, because in Oldberg right now, we got some new sorting, like recycling stations, and people have sort of just taken that as an invite to leave all their old trash and junk there. So whenever people are moving, for instance, and they have furniture that they don't know what to do with it, they just leave it by the recycling station. Even though it's not recyclable, even though it's perfectly good furniture that's just been sitting out for a few days in the rain, so now it's ruined. It makes me so angry and also Jens and I, we walk by a lot and we're always asking each other, do people just hate making money? Because like a, a normal couch that has been worn a fair amount, I mean, it's still worth something and you can still donate it or sell it for, I don't know, 50 crowns or something. Like, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you feel there's no reason to ever just throw away perfectly good things and people are doing that all the time in my neighborhood I don't I don't I, I'm not there for it. What about details to improve accuracy? Oh my god, there was a lot of stuff When it comes uh, what comes close to your monthly new clothing footwear and our sporting goods purchases? I don't really buy anything minimal to none uh, What comes closest to your annual new housing furnitures purchases? I don't buy anything from new because the stuff that I do buy is from second hand and it specifically says new so I guess I don't have to enclose what I buy second hand. Household appliances, I sometimes replace out of date appliances with new models. I don't really do that. Again, either second hand or I just wait until it's broken up completely. Electronics and gadgets, I also don't. Inf yeah. Okay, infrequently I would say, because recently I actually had to get a new charger for my phone and I couldn't get that second hand. So I think I would have to go with that. And books and newspapers, I read all my news online because I'm 25. <laughs> and yeah, let's do... Oh yeah, and I buy a new book or magazine a few times a year. That's very accurate. How much do you recycle paper? I have some paper recycling. I have like this plastic recycling. It's very minimal. The occasional plastic bottle that can be recycled that has for some reason been left at my apartment when people come over. Oh, that, that's, not, that's not even remotely fair actually. Um, but yeah, of course everyone makes some sort of trash and I do have the occasional plastic product but I do make sure that I can recycle it even though recycling is not the perfect solution. But you feel? Compared to your neighbors, how much trash do you generate? Oh, that was, that was the thing from before. How far do you travel by car or motorcycle each week? Zero. I don't have a car and I don't have a motorcycle. How much do you use public transportation for a week? So, it depends on what kind of week it is, because in my normal everyday life here in Oldberg, I use my bike everywhere. But when I have to work, for instance, in Copenhagen or in Aarhus, I will take a bus. And recently I was in Brussels where I took the bus. So I think I would have to say, I don't know, for a... Oh, that's not. Okay, so let's say it's like 50 kilometers a week. Oh, that's also a lot though. 39, okay. We set it to 50 kilometers a week because I guess then it will count in the weeks where I do use a lot of public transportation as well as the weeks where I don't use any. So I think that's maybe a good, a good estimate. Uh, by train. Sure. Sure. Okay. Let's do that. How many hours do you fly each year? Um, so I recently started my no-fly year or like a no-fly lifestyle because I want to try to eliminate plane travel. It hasn't been necessary for me to fly. This year I actually did fly in the beginning of the year uh, one and a half hours each way. So I would say three hours of plane travel. That's not ideal. Oh, it's doing it! It's doing it! Oh no! Okay, so what does this mean? 
Okay, your personal Earth overshoot day is December 19th. So almost an entire an entire year. That's good. That's nice. We want the Earth to renew itself or to renew its resources. Um, but there are 10 days that could be different, that could be better, I would say. So let's see the details. Okay, so the carbon footprint. Your wall. So your personal carbon footprint is three tons of CO2 emissions per year. And I know for a fact that a single plane that flies from Copenhagen to New York is three tons per passenger, provided the airplane is full. Um, so that's pretty good, I guess. <laughs> Not going to New York right now though, so that's for sure. So the solutions, they have city, energy, food and population. And it says here with city, visit your city's website and challenge your city leaders to support sustainable policies. Yeah. Can you make transit, bicycle or walk instead of driving solo at least once a month, once a week? I do that every day. And you can choose the size of your family to affect a long-term footprint, support women's rights and access to family planning. Always. Be a smarter shopper and reduce food waste. Can you try a new vegetarian recipe once a month, once a week? Can I try a vegetarian dish once a week? Now nah, I won't get any protein. So thank you so much for watching this video. There is no finish line in sustainability and you can always improve and so you can always be better. And I think that's really, really cool and very inspirational and motivational. So. Obviously, this is a great challenge and I think it's so, so cool. Also, it's a nice way to get an overview of what your life actually is and how sustainable you actually are. So, yeah, I definitely recommend doing this. I will leave the link to the test down below. So let me see your results and let me see how it went. I'm looking forward to seeing you in my next video and take really good care of yourselves. Until next time, you can also find my ebook and my Patreon and my Instagram down below in the description thingy. Thank you so much. See you guys in my next video and take really good care of yourselves. Until next time, bye! Thank you so much for watching this video and also a special thank you to my Patreon supporters. You guys help me create green zero waste contents and I love you guys. You can find the links to my social media accounts down below and the link to my Patreon on this screen. Bye!